present with me is Johan, and today's Friday, December 2nd, and here's what's been happening to, inside LHS. Today is the halfway point on the second marking period. Progress reports will be out next week. You'll have five weeks more to bring up your grades and make up any missing work before the quarter ends. The second marking period ends in the middle of January 2017. And for anyone who needs to make up absences, check with your school for the absences makeup schedule. Last night, the LHS Dance Company presented the Winter Ballet, an enchanted Christmas. The ballet continues today at 6.30 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $5 and available at the door. Stay tuned at the end of the news for an excerpt for last night's show. Tomorrow, Lancer High seniors will take the SA December SATs. As known, the SATs are one of the requirements in the college application process. If you are taking the SATs tomorrow, remember to bring your admission ticket, photo ID, and at least two number two pencils with an eraser and a calculator. The next SATs will begin in January 21st, and the deadline to register for the test is December 21st. See your guidance counselor for more information. This week, seniors have been working with guidance counselors and gear up to complete college applications. Check with your guidance counselor for the time and date to work on your college applications. The LHS toy drive is still in full effect. The National Honor Society and the kids from the YTE will be collecting toys until December 14. Bring in and donate new toys or generally used toys, which will be donated to the Lazarus House in, head, in and Head Start. Before Thanksgiving, we told you about the donations that were collected to benefit the Daybreak Shelter here in Lawrence. For the month of December, Ms. O'Donnell and her students will be looking to help the shelter this holiday season. Hi everybody, I'm Ryan, and I'm with Miss O'Donnell, who coordinated the Thanksgiving fundraiser for the Daybreak Sh Shelter, and he she's here to tell us about a December fundraiser being planned. Tell us about the success of the Thanksgiving fundraiser. Hi everybody. Um, well, first of all, I want to give thanks for everybody uh, who donate, but uh, we were able to fundraise around $550 and all uh, money well used to buy um, items that the, day, uh, that the shelter asked for. Tell us about the fundraiser plan for December. What is it all about and who will benefit? Well, um, our December fundraiser uh, is going to benefit um, the Daybreak Shelter again. Um, and um, we will have a Christmas tree in the cafeteria and we will sell ornaments. Ornaments? and we ask again for a dollar donation to decorate our Christmas tree. All the money will be directly um, benefit the Daybreak Shelter. How can the LHS community participate? Well, buying one of this and stop at the cafeteria on the table. Um, also, um, ornaments are um, going to be distributed across campus and, um, and you can purchase in your school. We understand that there is a club being planned for next year that will be a campus-wide community service club. What can you tell us about that club? Yes. Um, well, right now we have a community club. It's kind of unofficial. But uh, for next year, we want to um, um, start the Lancers Care uh, Community Club. And we'll be in full um, uh, operation on next year. We also, it's a, it's a cross campus, all members of Lawrence A School campus can be part of. Tell everyone again about the Christmas fundraiser that begins next week. Okay, it is between December 5th and December 16th, two weeks. Um, a, we ask to uh, please purchase one of these ornaments, they have different colors too, and we help us decorate the Christmas tree we're going to have in the cafeteria. Back again, all the money will benefit the Daybreak Homeless Shelter in Lawrence. Thanks for talking to us. We'll check back in with you later in the month. Reporting from Inside LHS, I'm Ryan. Look for the donation table in the cafe starting Monday during all lunches. We had a successful blue and white day before the Thanksgiving break. Students wore their school colors and showed the Lancer pride. Before that, somehow the message got mixed. Some people incorrectly thought that Blue and White Day was going to happen every week. That's not true. While Blue and White Day is a special event to show Lancer pride, it is not going to be a regular thing. 
According to Mr. Fiato, students got the wrong idea that it was going to be every Friday, which is not the case. However, he did say that we might have another blue and white day before Christmas break. And fall sports came to an end with the Thanksgiving football game. The Lancers playing for the first time on the new field played a good game against Central, but lost 36-6. Now our attention turns to winter sports. Sign-ups and tryouts for winter sports took place on Monday, November 28th. For boys and girls, basketball, indoor track, wrestling, and cheerleading, over 100 Lancer athletes signed up to participate in the winter sports. Some of the teams are set, but others like track are still looking for more athletes. Talk to your gym teacher or Mr. Lacharty for more information. Winter games begin in two weeks. Next Thursday, the annual winter holiday concert will take place in the auditorium. We talked to members of the music department about the concert. Hi everybody, I'm Elizabeth and with me is Heoris and we're here with the LHS Music Department and they're here to talk to us about the Upper School Winter Concert which will take place next Thursday, December 8th at 6 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Introduce yourself and tell us what instrument you play and how long you've been playing, you've been studying music here at LHS. My name is Karina Champi, I am from PFA, I'm a senior, I am in Girls Ensemble Choir and I've been studying music since freshman year. Hi, my name is Lizetta Santiago. I'm a senior here at PFA, and I've been playing music since freshman year, the trombone. My name is Elizabeth. I'm a junior here at PFA, and I play the saxophone. I've been playing for three years. My name's Haley. I'm a junior here in PFA. I play the saxophone. I've been playing for three years. Can you please tell us about the concerts and what groups will be performing? Wrong one. <laughs> Some of the groups that will be performing are the Girls Ensemble, the Concert Choir, the Upper School Band, the JROCC Drumline, and the LHS Jazz Band. What kinds of music will you be performing and what kinds of, what kinds of songs will there be? The LHS Winter Concert will take place on Thursday, December 8th at 6 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center here on the Lawrence High School campus. You can see the Girls Ensemble, Choir, Upper School, Band, Drill to See Drumline, and LHS Band perform holiday music. There will also be a special guest dressed in a red suit and white beard who promises to be there. Admission is free and open to everyone across the campus. How long have you been practicing for the concert and what are some of the practices like? Uh, we've been practicing since the beginning of October, and the performances are always full of energy, and we try our best to do good for the concert. Don't ask me, don't ask me. Thanks for talking to us. This has been Elizabeth and Heldy's reporting. Can you please sing us out, please? Ori Christus Natus Est, Christus Natus Est, Ori Again, the concert will take place next Thursday, December 8th at 6 p.m. Well, that'll do it for the Inside LHS this week. We'll be back next Friday for another edition. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. See you next week.